Hello Internet. Today I want to show you how I made this lightning effect. So we're, we're just going to make it from scratch. And I'm going to need a new composition. And it's 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second. And it's three sec it's three seconds long. So assuming you have created your composition, let's start. I'm gonna need a pen tool to draw a stroke path and let's move this few points around to make some sort of something like this. Depending on your preferred path or shape form I'm gonna keep it at white color and 25 and the first thing I'm gonna do is add wiggle paths on the size um, I'm gonna make it 200 you can see now when we hit play what's going on already we have the animation there I'm gonna leave the detail at 10 but I'll make 10 wiggles per second for now it increases the speed of the animation uh, one last thing I'll do here is reduce the correlation and make it 10 instead it adds randomness to the movement of the wiggles so the second thing I want to do is add turbulence displays. Turbulence displays will here's notice the difference. Without turbulence displays, we have straight edges and sharp corners, but with turbulence displays, we get more you know flavored edges and even in the animation you can notice the difference between the two it's a very minute yet uh, important detail so to push the turbulence displays further we can make the size 300 and the complexity make it three it pushes it further and adds that flavor i was talking about and even the randomness that we want again when we are making a lightning we want to promote the random factor and decrease the predictability so however you can do that make it I like the animation so far. I guess one last thing that I would do is add um, trim path. Trim path will help us show the lightning at a certain point in time. I'm going to keyframe the end at 100 and then move this keyframe up to the uh, probably uh, 20th frame, like right here. We're gonna see how it plays out at the end. And then I'm gonna keyframe again the end, make it zero. And let's see how it plays. But I'll take this and put it at eight. Oh, I'll put it at 24 frames. Yes, put it at 24 frames. I should have done that in the beginning, but now it's good. And then I'm gonna go to the fourth frame and keyframe start at zero. And then I'm gonna go to the 28th frame and put a keyframe for start at 100. So now this is what we have. And now you are asking, oh, why is it so small? Why is it so short? Okay, that's fine. Just hit F9 on your keyboard and take this, push, drag it to the center, the middle, make sure you hit shift when you are doing that because it will help you keep uh, the keyframes in point in place so now we have sort of like is is animated there so we have this sort of like you know fluid animation going on 
and sort of I, I i might even push this keyframe over here to the eighth frame and i like that delay that is going on there notice the difference this one is no delay and this one is with the delay i i like that so i'm just gonna keep it that way so the lightning is finished and we are done with it when you are making a lightning you want to make sure that you add accent so that it relates to the composition or the elements in your composition so to do that i'm gonna duplicate my lightning layer Control d and then i'm gonna rename this uh white lightning and then the one below it i'm just gonna name it color lightning yep then so the one below it i'm gonna take the stroke up to 100 yep when we are at 100 change the color to you know your heart's content and when we are at that you might want to add Gaussian player pump it up to 100 and then hit T to e decrease the opacity to probably 50 I like that so let's hit play and see how it goes yep it's good let it load take this to half yep I like that so one thing i want you to notice is the difference between the hierarchy here on the layer uh colored lightning layer the hierarchy matters look what happens when you put the gaussian blur above we have the lightning underneath it very like abrupt and random but when we put it underneath we have it sort of like soft and you know friendly I'm gonna keep it that way so again let's go to the layer above it it's one more last thing to do before we are done with it okay hello right I'm gonna add roughen edges I'm gonna add roughen edges on that layer and notice the difference between rough and edges and no it sort of like as this like waves to our edges but i don't want to make that our you know capital change so i'll make it complexity one the reason i want to put rough and edges because i want to make this color change on the edge so you can notice the difference now we have a little bit of orange going on in the on the edge of our lightning but i'm gonna go to the layer underneath it and copy this color code from the color lightning and then go back to our roughen edge and then paste that color code so that we have uniform color going on uh and i'm gonna keep the border at 10 instead of 8 sort of increase the size but see the difference we've added now and i'm really liking this and this is how i'm gonna keep it i hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video so if you wanna push your knowledge further you can look at this uh video tutorial made by joshua noel on how to make uh, lightning using the inbuilt preset and it comes with its own controls that you can like manipulate to get the preferred lightning and another video that joshua made kind of explains how to make a lightning for motion graphics using advanced methods i'll put both links in the video so that you can access them and thank 
thank you again for taking time to learn with me and hope to see you next time.